Welcome. In this lesson, I talk about how to define weight. Weight is best defined using Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation, which I've illustrated in the sketch. And here's a word definition. Weight is the gravitational force, and all forces are either push or pull, so you can think of a pull on any body. So this can be an apple, but it can also be a jet airplane. It can be a building, a tank of water, a raindrop. It can be anybody. And the pull is from a planet. So we can talk about the weight on the moon. But most of the time when we're talking about weight, we're talking about the pull on a body from the Earth. Next, I'd like to give an example of using weight in fluid mechanics. If we're designing or analyzing a parachute, very common thing to do is draw a free body diagram. So we know that the parachutist plus the parachute itself, two bodies, are being pulled to Earth. So there's the weight of the person plus the chute. And there's an opposing force equal to the drag force from the chute. And as long as the weight force is larger than the drag force, there will be an acceleration in the downward direction. Once the weight force balances the drag force, the speed will be constant, and we say that the person is falling at terminal velocity. This sketch shows another example. And what I'm illustrating here is a water tower, which is typically comprised of water up at elevation. There's a pipe to bring the water down, and then this is connected to pipes that go out to a city to supply water to people. And as designers, we want to calculate the weight of the water inside the tank, and the weight will act through the center of mass, which I can kind of sketch there. So we would want to know the weight of the water, because we would use this number to design this structure to make sure the tank is strong enough. A second way that we would think about weight is the weight of the water in here causes water pressure and drives water out the piping system. And indeed, water towers are nearly always situated on hills so that we can take advantage of putting uh, water at high elevations and then using the weight of the water to create water pressure. In summary, Weight is the pull on a body from a planet, typically Earth. And we can also call the pull the gravitational force. We hope this lesson has been very useful. Thank you very much for listening.